Wednesday briefing. How much time will conservative MPs give Liz Truss? Good morning. After a short break from the usual chaotic program at the end of the conservative conference, normal services resumed. MP is back at Westminster and today Liz Truss makes her PMQ debut. This is because of the non-budget who blew up her PM on the catwalk. Quasi Quartang said he would not decide until the financial report at the end of October whether the welfare cuts would actually take place. The IMF again criticized the Prime Minister's tax cuts and energy aid package. On the other hand, for some reason Jamie Oliver has to deny that calling for more free school lunches for his children makes him a member of the anti-growth coalition. And this morning the pound has fallen against the dollar as the Bank of England announced it would not extend its asset purchase program beyond Friday. Despite that, number 10 said there was no discussion of market turmoil in cabinet yesterday. Take a look at the Times report on Therese Coffey's refusal to endorse the UK's tobacco reduction plan to get a sense of the whole atmosphere. It depicts a picture of the health secretary smoking a cigar nobly. As the noxious haze of Westminster politics once again fills the air, Katie Bowles, contributor to The Guardian and deputy political editor of The Spectator, shares how conservative MPs are feeling, and to Westminster. Here's the headline. Five great stories. Economy. The pound plunged against the dollar after Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey warned the bank would not extend its emergency intervention to buy British government bonds after this week. The British pound fell more than one cent to below $1.10 after Bailey said bond funds were considering a sale. Energy, in England and Wales, earnings of renewable energy companies have plateaued as governments pressured them to deal with runaway profits. The move comes after Downing Street previously imposed a windfall tax on energy giants, health, Millions of women across the UK should be invited to NHS checkups at age 45 to discuss menopause and prescriptions for HRT should be free, lawmakers say. A bipartisan parliamentary group on menopause is now calling for comprehensive measures to help women after a year-long investigation. He stood by and said Saudi Arabia had consequences after deciding to cut oil production. The comments mark a dramatic abandonment of Biden's recent attempt to reach a settlement with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Angela Lansbury the actress best known for playing Jessica Fletcher in the TV, TV series Murder, she wrote and for her numerous film and stage roles, has died at the age of 96. Read Mark Lawson's tribute. More information. The conference poured gasoline on the crisis. Party conventions are a bit like Christmas, and not just because everyone gets drunk. An environment where tension can explode when it is not. So even if things have seemed calmer since the Tories left Birmingham, it's all relative. The meeting really only fueled the crisis when it happened, said Katie Bowles. Throwing a highly dysfunctional party where everyone isn't in the same room means things seem to have calmed down, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the problem is gone. Now, now that MPs are back in Westminster, we have entered the Truss's first sustained, regular, term. Queen has been written off. One unfriendly economist leader yesterday hinted that their power grab was already over, calculating that the seven day real rule is the shelf life of a salad. In any event, a return to normalcy is a double-edged sword for the Prime Minister, and while the practice of commonplace Westminster politics may help soften the mood of unbridled turmoil, the Chancellor's enemies are in the same place at the same time, giving you plenty of opportunities to make trouble. There is no immediate threat to her position. Despite breathtaking rumours in unreliable letters, Katie is sceptical of an impending fundamental challenge to trust position. Target. Extensive diagnostics on the severity of the problem. Some of them think they have already lost their seat. Some of them think they have time to put it back. The group has already endured the trauma of the molting of its leadership this year, and the fact that it knows how tough policies this congressional group is is ironic. The result is that the trust actually protects there is a possibility that an obvious boiling point may be quasi Quartang's accelerated financial report due October 31. You never know what's going to happen to something that's going to blow things up, Katie said. If you are here for the glee, you may find it in the fact that Truss's position as prime minister does not appear to be the case. No. Katie called some backers yesterday afternoon and asked how Truss could convince her. One of them said to cite Blackadder. Before proceeding to the title character's assessment of what Marshall Haig needs to do to boost morale, immediate resignation and suicide. Closes behind its leader, MPs who are not ready to force Truss out may still rebel in parliamentary votes, be vocal about their opposition to parts of her supply-side agenda in an attempt to persuade their constituents that it's not their fault, and generally cultivate an atmosphere that will make it very difficult for trust to get on the front foot. The need to appease, in the initial days after the not-so-mini budget, number 10 was almost alarmingly calm, Katie said. There's been a gradual realization since then of how serious the situation is.
In the last few days, Truss has made a series of concessions to back ventures in the markets in an attempt to mitigate that. After Connor Burns was sacked as a trade minister over allegations of serious misconduct at conference, Greg Hans, a key supporter of Rishi Sunak, was appointed as his replacement. Katie reported in a Spectator piece on Monday, Pound, that while it was a tacit acknowledgement that Truss's initial cabinet was from too narrow a section of the party, Hans had, crucially, met with the prime minister to give constructive feedback in private, rather than speak in the media. Team Truss is trying to show that there is a way back for all MPs so long as they approach it the right way. In other words, Katie said, they're saying to MPs, voice your concerns with us, just don't do what Michael Gove did.